Today is a bittersweet day. It's a very happy day for me, but it's also quite a sad one. I know I'm being dramatic. Today is the day that I am changing my bed. I have a bed delivery coming any minute now and my old bed which is a headboard and a divan base will be going my boyfriend is coming to carry it away and take it away forever and ever the bed was actually the first piece of furniture that I got before I even had a headboard um almost two years ago now when I moved in and I also got the headboard from eBay for 70 pounds which is something that you guys ask in pretty much every video that this bed is featured in but on the plus side though i'm getting a king size bed this is a double bed which is great but i didn't really take into consideration the size of my bedroom so you can see all of that space there and space over here um i've just pushed that out because i'm just i'm about to pull this bed out although i love the way this crush velvet looks i just didn't want to get something that i already had otherwise it would look pretty much exactly the same so i went for a plush gray so it's this kind of fabric um but this is more of a slight duck egg but it's more of a light gray maybe similar to this actually which is good but it's also going to have a frame around it and at the front is going to be matching the headboard that's why you guys see the bed look like this which you never ever do i always have it all done up i've taken off all of my cushions and stuff all the covers are over here i'm going to give them a nice wash just because it's like new bed new bedding new cushions i need to actually clear this out don't i what have i got in here so i've got more bedding and stuff like that in here i was able to choose the fabric the measurements the size the colour, everything. So I really hope that what I think I'm going to receive, I do receive. <laughs> I am quite nervous um, just because I do really love this bed and so I just need it to be better than this really. So I've got a little update for you guys. I'm going to show you what is currently going on in front of me. It's kind of giving me anxiety. I'm not even going to lie. So this is the current situation. I have had to take matters into my own hands and try and get this bed reasonably down as much as I can. I can't take off the headboard because I haven't got the tools for it, but I'm gonna move the mattress off the bed and probably move it into my office. I think my new headboard is gonna be slightly higher than this, so I will have to bring those mirrors up eventually. This is the cushion heaven that I have going on in here. I think I'm gonna have to bring the mattress in here and anything else that can fit because I don't want it in the living room because I just because the living room is the front of the flat it's just horrible and I don't know how long it's going to stay here for it could go today but it could also go next week I don't really know at the moment so I'm gonna hide it away in here so yeah that's basically what's going on at the moment so before I get a knock on the door with the new bed I need to just do as much as I can <laughs> Oh my gosh, can we just talk about how echoey it is in here after taking the mattress off? Oh my, can you hear it? I don't know if you guys can tell the difference on camera, but it sounds really hollow and echoey in here. Weird, really, really weird. I'm just gonna have to end it here, log back online, see if I've got any emails and stuff like that. So why do I look weird? But it's because I haven't got any earrings in, that's why. And I have barely even done anything to my face oh i actually want to let you guys know um can you see these lashes guys can you see these lashes they were done by my best friend pretty aura beauty i'll leave the link and everything to her instagram and all of that in details down below you probably can't even see very much but i've got a new highlighter on which is uh from becca cosmetics it's the rose gold one i think that's the name of it um I think it is, it's like the warmest one that was in Space and K, so I got it. Didn't have the best experience in Space and K, I'm not gonna lie, but I keep going there, and every time I've gone there, I don't have a good experience, but it's just because there's one right near my workplace, but I don't know, I'm just not really feeling, feeling the vibes there. My friend also did my nails, which are like a cute pinky with a slight um, shimmer in there, not necessarily glitter, more of a shimmer. I look so, so plain it's a working from home day and to be honest i never ever even look like this on a working from home day my hair will be up in a bun i won't have any makeup on but i'm vlogging i've got people coming around so i need to look a little bit decent i've moved my ottoman stool thing just to there hopefully that's enough space you can probably see the space a bit better now i've got my mirror here hey and um yeah this angle that's like that's my built-in wardrobe which is equivalent to the one in 
actually this one might be a bit bigger that wall there is the wardrobe in the office if that makes sense this is the back of it and then this is the wall in the room where my artwork is is behind there does that make sense so here's the update the room is officially echoing now guys you cannot tell me that you cannot hear this this brings back so many memories when i first moved in it's empty the office isn't though <laughs> I think I need to buy things more often because I'm so happy right now, like. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Can we take in the front of my bed? Oh my God, Jane, stop. I'm so excited though, guys. Oh my God, okay, let me get out. Let me get something to eat because I should just sort myself. I'm so shocked right now. This is everything I could have ever wanted. It's not in place yet, but it's done. They did it in about 20 minutes. Like how? This is the storage, which is epic. <gasps> it goes up by itself, guys. This is a dream come true. I have all this storage underneath the bed now. How do I get it down? So I'm waiting for the boy and his bestie to come and take my old bed and to bribe them I've got pizza. I haven't actually looked inside so okay so there's garlic bread there. I got two pizzas because there was a deal. Ooh, okay I'm excited about this. I'm very excited about this. They didn't put any sauces in which is a bit upsetting but mmm that looks really spicy okay nonetheless i might actually just eat one because i'm that hungry okay i'll have a garlic bread it's well deserved i haven't actually eaten all day also can we talk about what i have to now tidy up and i have to do it quickly before they come because they won't be able to get in here and get the stuff out because in the way so i'm going to show you the almost ready bed it's like nowhere near ready but almost ready ta-da wow you know what it's stunning <laughs> i mean obviously i liked it but now seeing it on camera it really does it justice so those mirrors are going to have to go back up but you can actually see here how much higher this new headboard is so it may seem like a little bit but it's not it's actually a big deal it's a lot different you have to remember that the headboard was also narrower because this is now a king size so you can see that this covers that hole and remember there were also gaps in between the mirror and the bed and that one is inside so yeah it's a good i don't really know the measurements difference too much but yeah it's a good difference um and <laughs> guys it actually looks really beautiful in here this is perfect for this room. My mum was laughing because she was like, everything around it looks so tiny now. So I've got my garlic bread in my hand. Can you see? Hey. So I think I'm going to end up getting some bigger lampshades. So I'm going to be using these cushions. These big ones. They are 60 centimetre. Um, like a silvery satin with a piping. They were made by me. Yes. So the only thing is these are small for this. So I'm going to need to get two new inserts on my travels as well. Maybe 65 so that it's really full. These are my rectangle ones which now look tiny but they are 35 by 55 so they're not actually that small. So I'm going to have those two as well. Looking cute. Then what I'm also playing with the idea of is making myself a new one here which I might do tonight. If I find the insert then I will make one tonight. This mattress is like almost double the thickness of that one. So that's why the bed is so high. But I, as you all know, I love a good high bed, but it's true. You just can't really see the bedside tables anymore, which is why I do need more of a statement on these, um, on the bedside tables. I'm quite happy that the bedside tables are quite muted now, to be honest, because they're, they're really dainty and cute, which is actually fine. But I think that they might just need like a bigger lamp going i'm really excited now if there were two of these that would be perfect that would be really good but it looks like there's only one i need matchy 
those would be those would be really nice as on the bedside tables but oh they're only 25 each oh my god these these how much are they 20 pounds guys it's now really dark outside it's about nine yep it's quarter past nine earlier on i said these bedside lamps are looking too small now next to the bed because it's just gigantic <laughs> but i did buy some from home sense the lampshades are here so this is the lampshade i'm gonna put these together and then i'll show you guys how it turns out guys i think i'm in love they are so perfect it's weird because in real life there's like a pink tone to it and if you guys have ever seen that kind of glass that has like different colors in it but i mean it's showing a little bit on camera but it's a, it's a lot more than that so it has got a lot more color but can we just take this in that's the new lamp much higher look how small that lamp is compared to that it just has a whole different vibe it looks so mature and I feel so proud because <laughs> it doesn't feel so glitzy and glamoury in here anymore. It just automatically has like this mature vibe. By the way guys, look how cheap they were. $24.99 each, J Hunt and Company, but they were purchased from HomeSense. So now I need to find somebody to give these to. Good morning guys, well technically it's actually the afternoon. My plan to pop out and get my bedding in the morning before going off to viewings just didn't work. This bed was way too comfortable for me to get out today. Went into Tesco and grabbed a few things to eat and I just thought let me just go and get some bedding from here, how bad could it be? First of all, my Glacier collection, which is this print and this print, the Silver Glacier, is so perfect for this bed it's absolutely unreal the contrast piping brings out the dark tones in that velvet it's all very light and airy but it's not too white i'm in love i'm in love i'm actually in love all i need now is for the mirrors to go back up and oh, we're on to something really 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 great bye guys see you all in the next video yeah.